Alright guys, so as you may or may not know, GTA Online has become free. Uh, well, GTA 5 has become free. GTA Online also along that will have become free. Meaning there will be also a lot of new people about being low levels. Now, obviously if you knew this already, this is not news to you. However, if you have not played GTA 5 before or GTA Online, there are a few, um, there's a few things that you will need to know. Not exactly important information, but fun and rare kind of information and little bits that may help you either gain money and level or may even gain the enjoyment in the game itself. Um, I'm going to do these, they're going to be not all in one video, I'm going to do them in little sections in different videos, but first one we're going to do is, I'm going to point out straight away that this is, this is my own personal opinion, this is not fact or proven, this is just what I think when it comes to this topic. Um, is the best way to earn money in GTA Online. Now, there are many businesses. You have nightclubs. You've got facilities where you can do heists. You've got an arcade. You've got the CEO office where you can um, get cars and sell them or get uh, cargo crates and sell them. Uh, motorcycle clubs where you can own multiple businesses and various others however my personal opinion if you are to if you're going to actually use these these um, businesses in a way to make money from the start as in you want to actually earn money in GTA online my personal opinion is to save up and get the nightclub now there is a few ways that you need to do this, but in my my opinion, like I said, this is the best way, I guess, to make money if you do not have time to play completely. Like, if you do not have the time to grind through it hours on end, like I do, um, then this is probably the best way that you can make money. I did do a video on this quite a while back I will leave a link to that to give you a full information about it but to give you just a brief description on it it's basically you want to get this involves being a MC business owner so you need to have a motorcycle club and then from there you need to buy all the um, businesses within the MC club business and then from that you will once you've done the supply missions on them you will um, obviously the supplies will build up over time being and also the amount of money will build up over time as the supplies come in now where this helps having a nightclub is if you then get a nightclub which I will stay right now you don't really need the most expensive nightclub setup for this to work you just you basically just need the nightclub um, and basically what this is is you get the nightclub and you're gonna need to get all of the um, storage space to make it work successfully um, you can start off with one you don't need all four immediately you can start off with one and just build up the money as you go and then eventually get all four storage spaces so you can access um, all of the space available. Now, what this will do is, one, it will help with two of the um, stocks being sporting goods and something else, I'm not too sure the name of, uh, but there are some other sections that you that will be filled up as well and these are actually the businesses that you own as the MC club house so if you own these businesses it will also fill up the stock levels on the um, on the stock 
in the nightclub. And the good thing about this, that it will go up on its own. You don't have to do supply runs. You haven't got to buy supplies. You haven't got to steal supplies. You ain't got to do any of that. It goes up on its own. You, what you do is you assign um, people to to each of these sections, and then over time, these stock levels will go up. Now, the two first ones, the sporting goods and the whatever the other one is, take the longest, but they are the more profitable in money, being they do have the more money. So the other ones are, I think, like. I don't know, 40,000, 60,000. The first two are like 200 or 300,000. So they take a little longer to crank up. But I, what I would suggest is building it all up because it's going to take a while anyway. And do not sell it when it is filled up, when you've got all um, six or seven slots and stock filled up. Do not sell it because to when you sell it you get about in a solo public lobby you get about I think it's nearly around two million however sometimes if we're lucky Rockstar will give us a good event week where you can get two times money in RP on business sell missions the nightclub being one of them so that two million um, sell price turns into four million now, that is in a solo public session. If you do this in a full lobbied public session with 30 people, you do get a bonus because of other players in the lobby. So that 4 million will then probably turn into maybe about 5.5 million or maybe 6 million. And the good thing about this is that the actual nightclub businesses and the sale missions you can do completely on your own you can have other people with you but the vehicles that you use to actually transport the goods that you are selling you can drive on your own you don't need to have a passenger to operate any guns you can do it completely solo on your own now if you're going to be doing it the safe way and doing it in a solo public session you don't even need to upgrade the vehicles in any way really all I've done is do the engine and the traction and the stuff just as things to make it faster and obviously the armor if you were to do in a public session I will warn you now I don't think the armor is actually any good I do think it blows up after one missile so I wouldn't really worry about that but obviously as some of you will probably have figured out already, Oppressor Mark II's are very, they're, they're a bit annoying, so you've probably experienced that already, if you have then I do apologise for the existing generation of online players, there's a lot of them, but yes, my initial beginning would be to start off with the MC Club businesses, well, MC Clubhouse, then you buy the MC businesses, and then you do the nightclub, because even as you're raising money to get the nightclub, your MC businesses are still building up money anyway, so you've got the MC business money and the money that the MC businesses build up in the nightclub. And you get all the garage or the storage space for the nightclub, and then you just wait until you get a event week that is decent to sell it with, really. Because I'd rather wait and sell it for four million than do it shotgunning and sell it for two million, to be honest. But that's my personal opinion. Second opinion is the arcade. No, it doesn't serve much purpose. You can do the casino heists if you want to, which is an upside. Uh, they're not as easy or as fun as they used to be because, you know, Rockstar doesn't like us having money in-game and they make it very difficult to do so. But the arcade itself, once you get it fully upgraded, which I kind of like the arcade because it's different, you can kind of make it more you. 
um, and you can actually invite your friends over to play some arcade games as well. Uh, but the safe holds up to fifty thousand dollars a time, um, and that is also again without doing anything. You don't need to do again supply runs or anything. You ain't got to do population increase missions like you do with the nightclub to earn money. It just goes up, and then when it reaches fifty thousand dollars, it holds. You get a message saying, "Oh, the safe is full. Come pick it up." You pick it up, and then you just wait until that fifty thousand dollars goes up again. So, not too bad with that. Um, I think those are really the only two that are that you can do without having to actually do anything. So you, those are the only ones that you can actually get money from without putting much effort into it if like I said if you haven't got much time to do stuff or if you don't really feel like doing any of that you've got them racking up the money while you just have a chill with your friends or something and the thing is you don't have to stay on a free roam lobby you can go and do missions you can do, go and do races and the money will still be going up You so you can literally chill while your money's raising and that's it. Um, I would say if you do get the money with the CEO office, pre warning the import export missions being the cars, you do not have to pay to get the cars, you just have to go and find them, take them back to your garage. The cargo missions um, have three different prices, be it the best one being three crates for $18,000, but sometimes we do get events where the cargo prices are halved, so makes it a bit easier. But those are probably my little, my little tips on which businesses to start with when it comes to new players. Obviously this is not going to be a thing that you are going to be able to do quickly, but it is a thing that you can do to work towards and by the time you've worked towards the prices of some of these businesses you'll probably have the amount of money anyway but like i said the nightclub is kind of the easiest one to go for to begin with if you haven't got much to do um so yeah and also like i said you don't have to get all four storage spaces you can start with the first floor and just start with that so it makes it a bit easier but hopefully that was a bit helpful I didn't really expect it to go on that long but hey ho if you didn't join it was helpful in any kind of way then obviously leave a like and put your comments in the comments below on what your favorite method is or if you are if you are a new player and you have a method already post it down there as well it's like I said Rockstar doesn't like players having money so let's try and help each other out because Rockstar doesn't want us to and obviously if you do go ahead and enjoy them do go and subscribe and if you do continue to enjoy them do not forget to hit the notification bell to be notified in any videos or up updates I unleash onto your channel and I will see you in the next one